Hey guys, uh, so this video is going to be on the use key, which I feel like is a really overlooked uh, topic, and especially when it comes to um, options for binding it. So I personally use mouse wheel down for my use, which is pretty, I feel like, uh, uncommon. Um, even though it's really good, and the only reason it's uncommon is it's a little bit uh, unconventional, um, out of the box, so most people don't consider trying it, and then they get used to what they started with or something they switched to early on, and so then they never experiment after that once they get good with their current setup. So thankfully I did testing, a lot of testing, before I decided to get used to my setup, and that's how I came to find this out. So first I'm going to show you a short clip uh, just to demonstrate what it looks like when I execute a, um, a clean, smooth scroll wheel looting of a chest. And then I will uh, explain a few um, things, like for example, who this might help, like who this might help uh, if you are considering trying it, like what situation you might be in to benefit most from testing this out with minimal negative impacts to your current setup. So here's the clip at normal speed. So that was pretty fast and smooth. I looted every item, which was four items total. There's an AR, grenades, wood, and ammo in, you know, a really short amount of time. So we'll go to slow motion real quick just so you can see more clearly what happens. So first notice that all the items come out in like a ball clumped together. So this is where the mouse wheel helps a lot. If you time it right, you can see the progress bar. You know when the items are going to pop out. You do a scroll, which does like four or five notches uh, really quickly. In a short amount of time, you can pick up all of those items before they start to spread apart too far and fall to the ground. And there you go, all four of them are picked up. And if I didn't pick them up that fast, that's why you see me doing kind of like an arcing motion, because if I timed it a little bit late, the items kind of start to um, come apart a little bit and form like an arc before they fall into the ground in sort of like, you know, they don't fall into the ground 100% piled up on top of each other. So there you go. That's what it looks like when you get used to using scroll down and when you execute it um, properly. So let's go into game and I'll go into some depth here about how to do this technique and in multiple situations, not just looting a chest yourself, but loot it, trying to steal the loot out of it when someone else is opening it, looting um, a dead player's uh, stackable item, uh, stackable loot in the middle of battle when you have a short amount of time, looting items that are you know not all clumped together and stuff like that, opening and closing doors. Um, reviving teammates and and stuff like that. So first off though, who will this benefit? If you do not have scroll wheel bound to anything important that you really like, you have scroll wheel available. That's number one. Number two, if your use key is bound to a very good key on your keyboard, this those are the people that this will benefit most if you try this or if your use key is on a suboptimal key on your keyboard, but your mouse wheel is available. Those are the people that I would recommend most try this, or anybody who is already comfortable changing their binds and testing out new stuff. You don't need to meet that criteria, but if you're already kind of comfortable changing stuff around, then you won't have a problem with it. But the reason I specify those people will benefit most is because it will require the least amount of changes, the least amount of impact to your current setup. Because you can set your use keys secondary bind to scroll down without screwing up your current binds because your mouse wheel is available so you don't have to remove anything from your mouse wheel and your current use key stays how it is. And then you just test out mouse wheel as a secondary bind until you get used to it. And then if you get used to it and you find out you no longer need that current 
uh, use key bind on your keyboard, you can then repurpose that. And most people have their use key on a really good key, like E or F, which I think are way too good of a key f for your use key. And that makes that bind available now for something more important, like a weapon slot or probably building a uh, building piece would be the most important thing. And then again, you can repeat the same pattern where you set that newly available bind as a secondary bind for something that you've been wishing you had a better bind for until you gradually get used to it and then you transition it to your primary bind. All right, getting into the specifics of the use key. So first off, um, let's see, is there a llama anywhere? No, don't, don't see one. Uh, that would be a good thing to show, but um, it's fine. We don't need a llama. So there's a setting that you need to know about, which is in here. And even if you're not going to use scroll wheel, if you decide not to use scroll wheel, I would highly recommend you use this setting. Tap to, inter inter tap to search slash interact on. By default, it's off. So what happens when it's off, if you try to open a chest or more importantly, revive a teammate, um, you have to hold the key down to open the chest or revive the teammate. If you press Alt or go into your inventory while you're doing that, it will cancel the searching slash reviving uh, progress. So what this means is if you don't use this setting like I do, which you have to use it for scroll wheel because you can't hold the scroll wheel down. If you do, that's a separate bind. That's middle mouse or mouse. I think it's mouse three is what they call it. Um, and that's not scroll wheel, so that's not like the scrolling action. So I use that on, which means I scroll one notch, and then it automatically will revive a teammate. And if, if imagine this situation, you're reviving a teammate, you're like 30, 40% of the way into the revive, and your other teammate in squads has been fighting the people that are trying to push you, holding them off so you can get the revive. But then he gets hit in the head and he's low health, he falls back and he's like, Hey, I need those. I need you to split those minis or those bandages that 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 you had, and asking you, the person who's reviving, to split them. And you're like, uh, "Sorry, can't do that. I'm in the middle of a revive. I don't want to cancel it." And he's like, "What the fuck, dude? I'm still alive. I'm the one that's protecting you guys right now." <laughs> or you realize that, and you're like, "Hey, sorry to the person that you're reviving. Uh, I can't revive you anymore because I got to cancel it so I can help out." the guy who's still alive because he's more important since he's alive. So either way, that's a shitty situation to be in. You get your limited, but if you have this setting, you can easily go into your inventory while it auto, it auto revives and you can split whatever you need for your teammate. You can get the revive off and you can help your teammate who needs your, your items. Um, so I'll show you real quick, just so you can see. Um, if I, right now I don't have the setting on, so, oops, uh, so I'm going to hold the key down and hit alt and it cancels, it cancels the, the chest, but I can also, um, I'm just moving away because of the sound. When I have the setting on, w when I'm looting a chest and nobody's nearby and I need to rearrange like one item in my inventory, I'll also use that time to the looting chest time to rearrange the item in your inventory because you want to make use of all the time. Like when you're opening a chest and there's nobody around you, that's just wasted time. You're not doing anything during that whatever one second the chest is opening. So if you can find something to do, that's being efficient with your time, min-maxing, you know. Uh, similarly, um, since we're talking about inventory, I'll touch on something else, but auto run is also, in my opinion, quite important to have bound to something. It doesn't have to be a good bind, but um, you can keep, if you auto run and go into your inventory, you can rearrange stuff or drop stuff for your teammates while you're running and you don't have to stop moving. So if you're running from a storm or say you pick up some loot and you're running up the stairs and an enemy's chasing you and you really want to rearrange your items without stopping, otherwise he's going to catch up to you and shoot you in the back. You can auto run for a second and a half while you're going up one stairs before the stairs turn and you can rearrange two items in that period of time just with an auto run and then you can have your items you know, better situated to turn and fight the guy. All right, so I'll open this chest now. I'll try to do what I did in that video just so you can see. Um, I may not get it as smoothly in that video, but 
it does happen like i don't know 50 percent of the time i'm able to do it that smoothly in the video and it i i am increasing that as i get more and more used to it um and then i'll go into some other specific details about about this so i missed an item that's fine but i got three items um pretty much instantly um okay so some specifics some other specifics uh let me get one more chest so i can get full items here and i'll show you some other technical aspects of this there we go that one was really smooth got all of it all at once okay so if you're opening the chest you have the progress bar if an enemy is opening the chest you do not have the progress bar so you have to time it um internally or you have to spam and that's where the mouse wheel is also good is spamming is very easy with the mouse wheel you can strafe left and right while you're spamming the mouse wheel it doesn't inter it doesn't interfere with your strafing and let me just mention this though so the reason the mouse wheel being such a good bind was available to me is because i do not like using the mouse wheel in the middle of combat if i'm fighting somebody I have to remove my index finger from the trigger key to scroll wheel, right? So if I were using it for for something else, um, like, uh, I don't know, building or something, um, I didn't feel comfortable with that because if I wanted to instantly do like a flick, reactionary flick headshot, and my finger had to move from the mouse wheel to the trigger, the uh, left, uh, left click, it, I would feel a little bit slowed down by that or a little bit insecure that I might not be able to pull off a clutch reactionary shot because my finger's not ready on the trigger key. Some people can use mouse wheel with their middle finger, but that is an uh, awkward feeling to me, so I can't. So that's why my mouse wheel was available. It was a good bind, but I had a very limiting, um, like criteria placed on what I would put on it, something that I don't want to use in the middle of combat, except for I do use it in the middle of combat if I'm looting, if I kill somebody and somebody else is about to attack me, but I have a split second and I want to get some materials, that's where I will use it. And I feel comfortable using it there. I just don't want it to be something I'm using often in the middle of combat, like a common, commonly used ability in combat type of thing. So while we're on that topic again so the use key typically when people have it bound to the default key e or f or is common um if you were to just like count up the amount of like the amount of time like seconds you're using that bind in a match compared to your weapon slots or your building binds you're using your building binds and your weapon slots like much more especially in combat which is the most important part of the game winning the fights is the most important part of the game looting is definitely very important when you're trying to steal loot it's the it's a matter of life or death in that situation but it's a very specific situation that only happens you know a small amount of time during a match so you want to maximize you want your best binds the ones closest to wasd you want them to be reserved for the things that are most important things that you're going to be using in combat but since the use key does have that important those small important situations you do need it to be a good enough key to be clutch in those situations but when it's on such a good key it just feels like it's a waste for like 95 percent of the match when you're not using it and that's where mouse wheel fits perfectly for me now scroll up may feel better than scroll down for you but i feel like scroll down I started with scroll up. I thought it was going to be better because I thought it was a little bit faster to flick my mouse up, up from mouse one to flicking up on the scroll wheel. But it turned out that when I tried to scroll down, it just felt a little bit smoother to me. Um, so for spamming, that's what I was talking about before that. When someone else is opening a chest and you just need to spam um, because the timing, you can't reliably time it without the progress bar. Because uh, also they can start opening the chest and cancel it and then start again and you might not get the timing right. Um, so it's definitely not going to be as easy to get the loot, like loot four items all at once before they get anything. Because they have the progress bar, so they have the advantage. But if you spam, you have a good chance of, of getting uh, a few things. So when I'm spamming, um, what I do is... I spam, scroll down, and then I scroll back up. I don't have anything bound to scroll up. So I'm using the scroll up as a way to reset my finger position to be able to scroll back down again. You can just scroll down, lift your finger up, and then 
extend it and then scroll down again but that's a little bit more actions you have to lift the finger and then extend it rather than just scrolling back up which is there's no lifting the finger it's just extending the finger so it's a little bit faster that way and keeping it on the mouse wheel it just feels like you can get in a rhythm and spam it a lot more that way you can probably see right now i'm spamming it on the on my keyboard capture thing so that's how i spam when someone's opening the chest i'm kind of just going like this and i'm spamming scroll up and scroll down so i'm getting like <laughs> i don't know like 10 notches of scroll down per second or more of potential like loot stealing but it's rng because you might get you might loot like bandages and a pot and then they randomly get the shotgun or something but i've uh commonly stolen every piece of loot from like two or three people that are sitting at one chest so that's the spamming technique so that's how i would loot if say say i was you know waiting for the chest to be opened um, or if there's a pile of loot on the ground, I'll just go like this and I'll spam the uh, scroll up and scroll down and loot everything really quickly. Um, another thing that you need to be aware of is the distance between items. If you were wanting to loot, say, something like this, items were a little bit spread apart. If you scroll down, if you do one fast scroll down as you're trying to go around this, um, you're going to have a lot of notches be used in the empty space. And then by the time you get to the second or the third item, you've finished a whole scroll down and now you have to reset and scroll down again. And so you might miss some items like that. So you have to develop some muscle memory for like a medium speed scroll down, which is when you're opening the chest and you know the timing. So you want to be calm and collected and time it right with like a medium speed so you can pick up everything in that clump. Um, or a fast spam when someone else is uh, opening the chest and you're just spamming as much as possible. Or a fast spam when you're just picking up a big pile of loot on the ground of stackable stuff like um, bandages, pots, ammo, materials in the middle of like combat. Someone else is about to attack you, but you really need the mats. Or, and then there's this muscle memory where you do a slower scroll that matches the speed of your mouse turn so that very few notches are wasted in between so i would scroll like that that was a slower scroll so that i maybe had one or two notches that went in the empty space rather than if i were to go like this and do like a really fast scroll i finished all of my notches but i only got to like right here i got to like right here and all my notches finished before it could pick up that um this this last weapon so, uh, whoops, <laughs> let's see, there is something else. So doors um, were something else. Uh, let's see, okay, and swapping one item. That's another good one. I need to get one item here to show you um, what I've been talking about. Okay, so I've got full items now. So if I were to want to uh, swap just one item here, if you are used to scrolling multiple notches, this is where you can get in trouble with it and you need yet again a, a separate muscle memory. Um, if I wanna just pick up this one item, you need to be used to scrolling only one notch because if you scroll two notches or three notches like you might be used to from spamming, you might accidentally pick up the item you want and then drop it for the item that you just dropped or you drop it for another item if there's multiple items here on the ground. But this is not that hard once you start getting used to it and you become you know, more conscious of your actions. It's not very hard at all. And I, I, I rarely mess that up. Um, so not, not really a problem, just something to be aware of. Okay, so opening doors. At first I thought that I wouldn't like scroll wheel for opening doors because um, because if you open a door and you need to shoot right away, I was thinking that, like I was talking about before, scroll wheel is occupying my trigger finger, and so there's going to be a delay. But it's actually ended up being okay, because it's just like one small situation, and uh, there's like a slight delay after you open the door to when you can shoot again, it seems like. Maybe not, but sometimes there is. But anyways, it hasn't been a problem for me as much as I expected it was going to be. So I was originally using a keyboard key uh, as a secondary use bind just to open and close doors because I also felt like when I 180, 
I felt like it was kind of easier to time a single use key press with a keyboard to open the door. But then I gradually started using my keyboard key less and less to the point where I never use it now for use. And I actually found out that if you're like running through a door and you want to close it behind you, it's actually easier with mouse wheel because when you jump into a 180, I can go like this. I can scroll like one, two, three notches and I have three chances. Like I don't have to have perfect aim. I don't have to do a flick precise stop on the door and hit it. I can just do like a, a, a sweeping motion and do like some scrolls in it and it will hit it as soon as my, as soon as it's possible to, to close it. So like that, like, I'm not I'm not trying to time it perfectly. I'm just doing three or four scrolls and one of them is going to hit it. So I don't have to, you know, it doesn't require a lot of attention and timing. And I rarely uh, occasionally before I might like in an intense situation where I'm trying to do like a real fast like door close behind me, I might mess the timing up or trying to spam it on the key will interfere with my strafing. And then it, it's just, you know, more less inflect less less flexible and less reliable. So that's another cool advantage. I feel like once you get used to it, it may feel a little weird at first. So let's see, that's pretty much it, it seems. I think I've covered everything. Um, let's see, I'll, let me drop all this and I'll show you when they're all stacked up. Uh, this I, In this situation, I kind of have to do like a medium speed scroll. If I scroll too fast, it doesn't get everything. So there you go, you can see that. But if I were to drop, everything that's when i would start spamming but if there's five items only i don't do i don't do uh, i do like a more medium controlled one so there you go hopefully this helps um let me know if you have any questions in the comments or stop by the stream if you have any questions um or if you have any requests for topics you are interested in that you haven't seen enough content on let me know Thanks for watching.